Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Who, and today I'm going to talk about trigonometry. And uh, as you know that there are a lot of identities in trigonometry, and it's really hard to remember. But today I have to tell you some trick so you can remember it pretty fast, and hopefully you can use it later and share it with your friends. So what I'll do is that I will draw two big triangles, because we are learning trigonometry. Alright, now we have two triangles, which is pretty big. And now, what I'll do is put sine x here, and then cosine x, and then ten tangent x. Alright, now we have three of them. The next task is to put the reciprocal to the opposite position. So for sine x, we will have cosecant x. For cosine x, we'll have secant x. Right, and tangent x is cotan x. And we have this, it is very this is very easy to construct. And what's the power of this? So first I want to say let's see the um opposite direction. So, in opposite direction, by construction, we know sine x it is 1 over cosecant x, right? And similarly, we have cosine x because 1 over secant x and also tangent, tangent x because 1 over cotangent x. So we have this, it's reciprocal of that, this is reciprocal of that, and this is reciprocal of that. That's the opposite, right? Now the other thing is we can see three any three adjacent ones. So any three adjacent. So what is the pattern there? So the middle one we have the middle e cos product of the sides of the sides. So what does that mean? For example, we have sine x and that equals tangent x times cosine x. And we can do that for others too. For example, we pick this three. We will have tangent x equals secant x times sine x. And any three, you can do whatever you want. And I'll stop now. So the third trick here is, well, maybe it's hard for you to see. Uh, maybe I'll write it here. So the third trick is the pairs. So pick any pairs and we can get one. So what's that? So for example, we pick this sine and cosine and square that, we'll get sine square x plus cosine square x equals one. Is that cool? And then we'll have this for this pair. So this is minus. So we have secant square x minus tangent square x equals 1. And then last pair is this one. And I'll put a minus there, which is cosecant x square minus cotangent square equals 1. So you can see, this is a very simple graph. It's like just two triangles form a star shape. And you can fill in sine, cosine, and tangent and in the right position and you will have almost all of the identities in trigonometry. Hopefully you'll like it. That's it. Remember, I'm Dr. Who. Hope to see you next time.